Hello there, how are you doing? Welcome back to Slam Motion. So guys, in today's video we are going to discuss the truth about Gordon Ramsay and Marco Pierre White's complicated relationship. Are you guys excited? So let's get started. So keep up with me till the end, comment right below this video, subscribe if you still haven't, and turn on post notification for more videos. Long before Gordon Ramsay became an internationally recognized chef, his former mentor Marco Pierre White rose to fame in his own right. Given the fact that White and Ramsay met decades ago and they seem to have relatively similar personalities, at least when it comes to their tempers, it seems like they should be best of friends. In reality, however, the two men have a very complicated relationship, rocky relationship from the start. When Gordon Ramsay was still a young man who was just getting started in the culinary world, he landed a job with Marco Pierre White. Since White was known to be a difficult man to work for, Ramsay had to know that he wasn't in for a relaxing tenure working under Marco. Still, at various times, Ramsay has spoken of learning a lot under White, and it seems clear that Gordon may not be the star he has become if he never worked for Marco. No matter how much Gordon Ramsay took away from his time working under Marco Pierre White, it seems clear that even when the two chefs were friendly, their relationship was intense. After all, when Marco released a memoir titled White Lies in the early 2010s, White seemed to relish revealing that he'd made Ramsay cry early in his career. I don't recall what he'd done wrong, but I yelled at him and he lost it. Gordon crouched down in the corner of the kitchen, buried his head in his hands and started sobbing. I don't care what you do to me, he said as he wept. Hit me, I don't care. Sack me, I don't care. Friendship failings. By the time Gordon Ramsay began to rise to a position that was closer to Marco Pierre White's level, the two men had seemingly built a friendship. Considering that it was well known that Ramsay is fully capable of keeping famous pals, it is a shame that he couldn't make things work with her former mentor. However, it is abundantly clear that White and Ramsay's relationship took a major turn when Marco got married. While talking to Piers Morgan for a 2012 GQ interview, Marco Pierre White explained why he felt he had to cut off his relationship with Gordon Ramsay. There were several things, but the straw that broke the camel's back was when he arrived at my wedding with a camera crew and film from the bushes. Six months later, I watched his TV show and there he was, winking at the camera at my wedding. If he'd asked me if he could come film some of it to help his show and career, then I would have let him. A startling revelation. Since Gordon Ramsay has been world famous for many years at this point and running restaurants seems to be secondary to his television career, a lot of his fans know very little about his distant past. For example, most current Ramsay fans have no idea that in 1998, one of Ramsay's restaurants at the time, Aubergine, became the subject of intrigue. After all, an unidentified man pulled up to the front of the restaurant on a scooter, rushed inside and stole the reservation book. In this day and age, the idea of stealing a reservation book seems like a joke since everything is done by computer. In 1998, however, a reservation book was a restaurant's lifeline, so it was a huge deal that a restaurant that Gordon Ramsay was running was suddenly without one. Worse yet, at the time, Marco Pierre White was accused of masterminding the theft. Nearly a decade after the reservation book theft, a lot of people still believe that Marco Pierre White had ripped off his former protege. At least, that was the case until Ramsay admitted he was the one who had stolen his own reservation book and he intentionally framed White in an attempt to ruin him. According to Ramsay, the reason he did that to his former boss is that he believed White was planning to have Gordon deposed so he could take over running Aubergine. It was me. I nicked it. I blamed Marco because I knew that would fuck him and that it would call off the dogs. I still have the book in a safe at home. No matter why Gordon Ramsay believed that Marco Pierre White was angling to take his job, it is amazing that he thought it was okay to frame his former boss for a serious crime. So guys, this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can. That really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video. Hope you liked the video.